They love the satellite picture in the radar. There's that northwesterly flow. Snow showers continuing for the mountains. Boy, it's been stubborn, and it just won't go away. Uh, a lot of this precipitation may not even be reaching the ground because of the fact that the air is still pretty dry at the surface and even the mid-levels, but we're still squeezing out flurries and some of this the lighter, the darker blue are some snow showers. So, uh, you know, a dusting to a couple of inches of snow is still certainly possible, especially for the northern mountains of North Carolina and the higher elevations, the west-facing slopes right along the Tennessee, North Carolina line. And some of these flurries could drift for, down to the south. For the rest of the mountains of North Carolina, even North Georgia, maybe even the mountains of South Carolina, very slight chance. You did see some flurries this morning. But then once you get outside of the mountains and into the foothills, it starts to become just rain showers. But now it even, could even mix with some snowflakes, even for you folks in Morganton and Hickory, and especially in Marion, as, of course, it gets colder and colder through this evening. Our official high today was only 52 degrees in the upstate, 10 degrees below the average this time of the year, and that breeze this afternoon developing made it feel even colder than that. Only 43 was the high this afternoon at the Asheville Regional Airport, 13 degrees below the average this time of the year. We're talking March, this is just ridiculous. So I guess we're paying for our most of February. We ended up above average temperatures. It was so nice. We thought spring had sprung. No, not quite. March came in like a lion and staying with us. 47 right now in Greenville with mainly clear skies. West to northwest wind at 12 miles per hour. It feels like 42 degrees with the wind chill. Partly cloudy skies in Asheville to mostly cloudy skies. Currently 36 degrees. Few snow flurries flying around. Feels like 26 degrees though thanks to that north to northwest wind at 16 miles per hour and gusty from time to time. Mostly clear skies, currently 45 degrees in Spartanburg. It feels like 38 degrees with the windshield, 45 in Anderson with clear skies, but it feels like 39 degrees with that west wind at 13 miles per hour. Look how cold it is. Already 29 in Cullowhee, 50 in Columbia. It's only in the upper 40s along the Grand Strand and Myrtle Beach. Same story in Atlanta where it's 47. There's the dip in the jet stream. It's 59 degrees in Orlando. That's ridiculous. This is cold in the entire eastern half of the country. A big dip in the jet. These little pieces of energy coming down the pike. Uh, the snow is continuing to melt away up in New York City. 29 when you wake up this, at 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. So uh, not a lot of moisture, so only a few areas of frost possible. But a breeze will pick up out of the southwest tomorrow afternoon, which will bring in milder temperatures. Instead of the northwest, it'll be a southwest breeze. Not as cold tomorrow afternoon, but still very breezy in the afternoon and a very cold start to the day, obviously, in the mountains. Look at these highs tomorrow in the mountains. So a little bit better than today, that's for sure, but still below average temperatures. Now, going through the day on Friday, we'll have increasing clouds coming in late in the day on Friday, but then over the weekend, here comes our storm system. Now it may start off in some of the higher elevations, a little bit of wet snow Saturday morning, but then it becomes all rain across the entire area by Saturday afternoon, especially on Sunday. 28 for the overnight low tonight, another cold night because there's not a lot of moisture in the air. There could be a few pockets of areas of light frost. If we had more moisture in the air, we'd see widespread frost with temperatures in the upper 20s. 59 for the high tomorrow. In the upstate, four-day plus looks like this. We're talking about those showers scattered coming in on Saturday, rain likely on Sunday, and a northeast breeze making it feel a raw day on Sunday. A few leftover morning showers on Monday. Still cool Tuesday and Wednesday, but we warm back up a week from today on Thursday. Be sure to turn your clocks forward one hour before going to bed Saturday night because we head into daylight saving time on Sunday. Yay! Four-day for the mountains looks like this, so there'll be that rain-snow mix early Saturday, otherwise just all rain for the weekend.